We've made it again. I have to say, this time last year, I didn't think we'd be back out here 12 months later. But here we are, and the sun is shining. Some of you last year might remember this little book. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And before I take another little extract from this book, I'm going to ask our deputy head boy and deputy head girl to come up and say a few words to you. And I want you to listen really carefully to all the lessons that they've learned since they've been at Bishopsgate. Hannah. Hi, everyone. I'm Hannah. This year, I was chosen to be your deputy head girl. Today, I'm going to tell you about my action-packed Bishopsgate journey and how it changed my world. My epic adventure began in year seven. Two years seems like such a short time for such big progress. But what this has proven to me, above all else, is that if you believe in yourself, you can change your life, even in a day. When I first came here, I was shy and I didn't talk much. And now, sometimes I won't stop talking, and I'm sure all my friends would agree. I remember coming home every day from my previous school and my dad asking me, how was school? And every single day, I would simply reply with, boring. I didn't think school could ever be enjoyable. It always just felt like a chore. However, the amazing Bishopsgate community with its wonderful teachers and pupils proved my sometimes stubborn self wrong. Something big had changed. I came home from Bishopsgate with an unfamiliar smile on my face. My dad asked me, as always, how was your day? And this time I said, really good. I met so many new welcoming people and my classes actually interested me. I was already so intrigued by this new world full of fresh experiences. As I started to enjoy school, I found myself trying harder and putting more effort in. I soon discovered that I loved the feeling of achievement and started competing more with myself instead of others. Bishopsgate has helped me understand that striving for your personal best is what matters the most. By the end of year seven, I felt that with the help and support of those around me, I had accomplished so much. My leadership skills flourished for the first time when I used my initiative to organise a lockdown fun event called Half Term Happy Hour. Soon enough came the time for us to find out leadership positions. I was nervous, but I didn't really expect much, as I had been at Bishopsgate for only a short time. To my, surprise, I, to my surprise, I was announced as Deputy Head Girl and Head of Livingston. I remember all my friends laughing at my shocked face. After experiencing this, I knew, with Team Bishopsgate on my side, I could do anything I put my mind to, and so can you. All you have to do is go headfirst into it, because you never know when you might surprise yourself. Being part of the senior student leadership team during COVID was hard, but as most people know, our team loves a challenge. We combined our many different skills to organise a number of different events, like the lockdown bake-off, fitness class, arts and crafts class, and the mini games house competition, which were all a big success. As you are all soon going to be moving up in school, you will experience many new opportunities, whether it's going on new camps, creating your own PSB projects, or expressing yourself through whatever. I want you to enjoy, enjoy it and use those opportunities to your advantage, because trust me, your time here will go quickly. Bishopsgate has become a place where I truly feel at home, and it will always have a special place in my heart, all thanks to the, the wonderful people I met along the way. There are many magnificent words to describe Bishopsgate, but right now, I can only think of three. One big family. Finally, at the end of my amazing time at Bishopsgate, above all else, what I want you to take from listening to the story of my journey is that, Every achievement starts with an ambition. If I can do it, then so can you. You'll never know how far you can go until you just try. Be the best you. Thank you for listening. I wish you all lovely, I wish you all a lovely restful summer.
Good morning, everyone. My name is Will, and this year I was your deputy head boy. Sadly, because of the coronavirus, I have not been able to use my role as much as I had wanted to. But today, I will tell you of the incredible Bishopsgate journey that I've been lucky enough to enjoy, and how it has taught me to be kind, respectful, and above all else, to always try my best. I hope this school can teach you to be the same. So, let's start at the beginning. I have always remembered the four animals that we used in lower school for our learning skills. Uh, there was Rolly the Rhino, who showed us leadership. There were the ants, who showed us collaboration. The cat, who showed us independence. And also the tortoise, who showed us resilience. Although I never got to meet the animals, which I was quite sad about, the many lessons they taught me I still remember in year eight, and hope I remember when I'm a grown up. I'll always remember being in the nativity. Does anyone here remember being in the nativity? Please put your hand up if you do. Oh wow, lots of you remember. Anyway, I can still remember playing one of the three wise men in my nativity. The nativity taught me to be brave, and show independence as I had never spoken in front of so many people before. And after, I felt really proud of myself for performing. In year four, I was lucky enough to have a poem I wrote in English published in a book, which is where my love for English began. Also in year four, I played the role of the artful dodger in our school play of Olivia. The play gave me the chance to make new friends, and most of all, it was fantastic fun. Year five was the first time I was away from my mum and dad for more than two nights, which seemed like a long time for me. In year six, we were then away for a whole week in a completely different country, France. Staying in a French castle, we learned all about the bio-tapestry and got to explore a French cathedral. Although I was really worried about it at the beginning, both of these trips helped me learn about nature and gain skills like washing dishes building a tent and making fires. Then, a year later in year seven, Bishopsgate gave me the chance to perform a poem in front of the school for the poetry competition. Personally, year seven was a great year for me, as I won the poetry competition and passed the entrance exam into the school I'll be going to next year, Hampton. I know without a doubt that I couldn't have done any of these things had I not gone to Bishopsgate. This school will give you the chance to do whatever you want. Just remember, it's up to you whether you take those chances and make the most of the opportunities during your time here. Most of you have a lot of your Bishopsgate journey to go. And I only ask that you enjoy it, work hard in everything that you do, and try to show the skills I talked about at the beginning. Leadership, collaboration, resilience, and independence they will certainly help you achieve your dreams in life. But above all else, know that you will live up to the school's motto, nil nisi optimum, nothing but the best. Thank you. So, do you think that Anna and Will, that could be you in a few years' time. Yeah, I just heard somebody say yes. Hold on to that thought. Absolutely, aim for the stars. Thank you both very, very much. So, back to our little book. The boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. And the first animal, it's a plane goes overhead, the first animal, Ball. Hello. Hello. I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy. But you make a huge difference. There's a little picture of them here, sitting on a tree, having a chat. What do you want to do when you grow up? Kind, sorry, what do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. What do you think success is? Asked the boy. 
to love, says a mole. There's a little picture now of a mole and a cake bigger than the mole. Do you have a favourite saying, asked the boy? Yes, said the mole. What is it? If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. Ah, oh, I see. Does it work? Every time, said the mole. Oh, I've got you a delicious cake, said the mole. Did you now? Yes, said the mole. Where is it, said the boy. I ate it, said the mole. Oh, but I got you another. Did you? Where's that one? Um, the same thing seems to have happened. What do you think's the biggest waste of time? Comparing yourself to others. Unlearning, said the boy. Most of the old moles I know wish they listened less to their fears and more to their dreams. I'm going to read that bit again. Most of the old moles I know wish they listened less to their fears and more to their dreams. So it's not what you're afraid of doing. It's about what Hannah and Will have just spoken to you about. You've overcome so much in the last year. I've been writing and reading all of your reports and how much more confident that word confidence and having a go comes up in all of your tutor reports and you are all brimming with pride at the things that you have done. Now, in a moment, we're going to have a little bit of music from Imogen and then we're going to have some prizes, and not everybody gets a prize. Otherwise, they wouldn't feel special. But if it's not you who gets a prize today, make sure that you have, with your mums and dads, read your report and all the thing, amazing things that you have done. It's just not your turn this year. Okay? But before we do some prizes, we're going to have some music from Imogen. You need to be very brave to sing in front of lots of people. And I just think that Imogen did an amazing job. Because that was a first for her. Yeah, 
Yeah, so just think, those of you who are a little bit younger, that could, again, that could be you. Now, we have our first presentations, and these are, I'm continuing on a musical theme, we've got some ABRSM music certificates. So I'm going to read them out. When you hear uh, me call your name, come up and get your, your uh, certificate or your trophy from Mr. Borman, and then go towards Miss Walsh, and then you can have your photo taken so mums and dads get a little memento, and you get a memento for your prize. So, as soon as you hear your name, if you want to come up to Mr. Borman. Here in 3R, Amelia Fallon has her singing, passed her singing prep test, as did Seb Craddy, Namaya Rehal, and Scarlett Loxton Co. Yeah, the Grade 1 Singing Practicals, Anushka Narawla, Anaya Patia, Nancy Skelton, and Imogen Ladyman. And you won't be surprised to hear that Imogen passed hers with distinction. Grade 1 Piano Practical, the Dia Kosler, the Piano Prep Test, Kalia Kramidas, and the Initial Grade Piano, Nancy Skelton. And I have one more here, Grade 3 Clarinet Practical, and that is Edwin Taylor. And now we have your Pillar Awards. Yeah, the four pillars that support everything that we do at Bishopsgate. And the first set of rewards are, awards are for respect for myself. So, in nursery, Elena Upal, in reception, Ryan Wahid, in year one, Jasmine Zhao, in year two, Lian Liu, in year three, Lucy Reevy, and in year four, James Lavis Jones. So as soon as you've heard your name, you'd like to come up. It's lovely to see other people who are just as pleased as somebody else getting a prize. That's perfect. Next, we have respect for others. In reception, Roman Kumar. In year one, Anger Dev. In year two, Isabel Baldwin. In year three, Sienna Trunk. And in year four, Anya Gossel. Respect for learning, in nursery, Riyan Patel, in reception, Ava Rathatha, in year one, Noah Grundling, in year two, Diana Raja, in year three, Atis Dev, and in year four, Tabitha Steer. Finally, we have respect for property. Somebody who always has the correct equipment and respects the equipment of others. We've got in reception, Sasha Wheaton. In year one, Amari Patia. In year two, Evie Wheaton. In year three, William Eaton. And in year four, Anushka Nirala. And now we move on to the lower school awards. So we'll do these two or three at a time. Okay, the Pringle Lower School Music Cup goes to Arian Ribeiro.
The Sherwood Roberts Cup for the most promising string player, Diana Raja. The Judy Naylor Lower School BLS Cup, Shivani Mistry. The Lynch Lower School's uh, Cheerfulness Cup, Nimrit Cinder. Who is smiling as she comes up to get her brush? The Lower School Sports Cup, Charles Marais. The Hawkins Cup for Lower School Sport, Erin Long. Sprints up to get their prize, very appropriate. Uh, the Golding and Coleman Swing Cup, Sophie Nicholson. The Henderson Junior BLS Cup, that's the Bishop's Gate Learning Skills, Jackson Dunlop. last year, I just realised there were no planes. It was so much quieter. The Wareham English Cup, Nancy Skelton, and the Progress in English, Eli Evans. The Maths Prize, uh, Georgios Markitanakis, and the Progress in Maths, Laura White, who sadly can't, Laura Cut isn't here today, but we'll make sure that she gets this announced on the film. Well done, Laura. Uh, the Science Prize, Edwin Taylor, and Progress in Science, Finlay Cunliffe. The French Prize goes to Hugo Chen, and the Religious Studies Prize goes to Olga Alexandrina Bruce. The PE Prize goes to Kian Healy, and the Morrison Music Prize, Max Sang. The Drama Cup goes to Archie Ellis, and the Geography Prize, Nemaya Rehal. The History Prize, Ella Harrison, and the Art Prize, Joe Freeman. The IT Prize, Marla Hendry, and the D Design and Technology Prize, Imogen Ladyman. And finally, we have the Paskins Cup for, the, for Poetry Declamations, Willa Irvine Fortescue, and the Junior All-Rounder Cup for Years 3 and 4, Mia Lennox Imbastari. Next, we have uh, the house competitions. Now, I've got the results here, but the trophies are actually awarded in the senior uh, prize giving. But I can give you the results of your competition now. Uh, the house cricket Comp cup in fourth was Magellan. In third was Shackleton. In second, Frobisher. 
So in first it was Livingston. Well done, Livingston. House Sports Day Cup. In fourth, it was Shackleton, with, still with 5,301 points, which is a lot. Just ahead of them in third, Frobisher with 5,300. In second, bit of a big leap, 5,646, it was Magellan. So, Livingston also came first there. Well done, Livingston. Now, before I say some thank yous and goodbyes, we're going to have some more fabulous music from Yash. Thank you, Yash. Boys and girls, I hope you understand just how good that was. I struggle to play with two hands, let alone, and then I've got the music in front of me. Imogen sang without anything in front of her and did it all from memory, and then Yash does all of that from memory. It's just mind boggling. We've got now a chance to say a big thank you to all of you, all the boys and girls, you have had an amazing year. So a big thank you from all of your teachers today for really keeping us going when things were a little bit tough behind the scenes as grown-ups, when we take things rather seriously. You've kept us going this year. So thank you to all of you. Well done. We're going to give you a round of applause from all your teachers. Before you go home today, don't forget how important a little thank you from you will be to your teachers as well. It's that simple. Gifts are lovely, but the word thank you and a look into the eyes makes the biggest difference of all. So make sure that you pass on your thanks to your teachers as well. Now, we have to say, unfortunately, we have to say at this time of the year, sometimes it's a goodbye as people go on to do different things. And first of all, I want to say, a big thank you to Miss Price, who is, she's going on, she's not going to be a teacher, 
she's going to go and work in a very different, I'm just going to make sure this is picking up on the microphone. Yeah? I found a way for my house to work better. Miss Price is going to go and work in a very different environment. Um, and secretly, we're sort of all rather hoping that one, I'm sure she's going to be really successful because she's pretty successful at everything, um, that she might just come back to teaching later on because we'd love to welcome you back as well. You might be so good. So, on behalf of everybody here, this prize pop. Now, boys and girls, as another plane goes overhead, soon Miss Walsh. Soon, Miss Walsh. Yes. Miss Walsh is going to be getting in one of those planes, and she's going to, going to go to Dubai. She is not just going on holiday. She has a new job where in her school she will now be in, in charge of managing a school where there are six classes in every year group. It's huge. Um, when Miss Walsh arrived about five years ago, the low school looked, felt, the experience for you guys as, as pupils was a very, very different experience, as it was for all the teachers as well. It's a very, very different place to learn in and to work in, and a huge amount of that is now the amazing work that Miss Walsh has done. So, we are now going to bid Miss Walsh a very, very sad, but very fond farewell, and we look forward to hearing of all of your successes in Dubai and the many other countries that we know you're also going to travel from with your, your travel addiction. Uh, to many, many parts of uh, the Far East and the Middle East, but we are going to miss you hugely, Natalie. And uh, a very, very fond farewell. Come to the front. Come on. The children need to be able to see you and give you a huge round of applause for this year. So, you definitely deserve a bit of a rest now. How many people are going to Cornwall this summer? Me. Okay, I'm just, I'm just working out who I might see next week. Have a lovely time. Thank you for being such a bunch of superstars. And have a great summer. Bye-bye. Thank you.